Hello Gemini, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. We have this picture today. Now I'm going to read what this card says to you. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So we've got a wee bit of resentment here going on, which is clouding your vision in relation to this person. So let's have a look and see. Yeah, it's about moving on. It's about moving on. Now, if you're not with this person just now and there's resentment here and breakups, there might be emails and texts coming in. There might be even be the suggestion of a holiday or a weekend away. But this, this could turn around very quickly. It could move forward very quickly towards growth if you can let go of what you're resenting here. So there's something happened here that you're holding on to. So Spirit, please show me the guidance in relation to this message. The Spirit's saying as well, it's perfectly natural to feel upset or resentful for what's went on. We're not saying it's wrong. But if you want this relationship to grow, you're going to have to let go and not bear grudges so that it can prosper and flourish. If this starts to resonate, please like, share and subscribe. Now, this is the Emperor. This is Aries energy. So Aries might be relevant here. The Four of Swords. Your Three of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, the Hermit energy, which is um, Virgo energy, uh, that might be relevant. The Temperance card, which is Sagittarius energy, so somebody might have Sagittarius in their chart. The Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords here, and the Hanged Man, which is um, Pisces energy. So that might be relevant here. Now, what we've got here is we have got spirit saying the advice here is that you need to take some time out to think because there's something come to light that doesn't suit you. Whatever's came to light here isn't sitting well with you. Now, it could be somebody trying to get away with something. It could be trickery, underhandedness. There could be a bit of deceit here, a bit of fibbing, a bit of lying. There's different degrees to this. But whatever this Seven of Swords energy is, it's caused you to, um, you know, feel a bit resentful. You're feeling resentful. You're not happy with it. You can put it that way. So whatever's came to light here, you've learned something here and you're not happy with it. Now, Spirit's saying that's perfectly okay. It's perfectly okay to feel these emotions, to feel upset, to feel resentful, to feel that you've been let down, however this resonates. But what they're saying here is that you're going to have to review things. You're going to have to take yourself away on your own here and have a real serious think about things. You've got the wisdom. The answers are within you. You will gain the enlightenment you need. But you need to take a step back here and you need to heal from this. You need to take time out to think about it. Don't do anything rash. Do something. Go away and do something you enjoy. But you need to ground yourself. It's almost like you need to come down to earth. It's like... For some of you, I feel that this has caused a massive, I'm hearing argument, argument, but it's had a massive impact on your relationship. It's had a massive impact on you, how you feel about the relationship. It's affected your relationship. So we need to take time out here to heal from it. We need to take a step back. We need to tune in with our intuition. Take yourself away for a walk, a day, a weekend, a break, whatever it takes here. You might want some time on your own. You need some time in your own here to digest here whatever the Seven of Swords energy is, is, energy is for you. This is a brainstorming card as well. This is a brainstorming card because you're going to have to find a way to get over this if you want to, your relationship to progress. That's it's, it's as simple as that. You're going to have to get over it. Um, deciding how you're going to go forward here. Now, what Spirit's saying here is there's more than one way of looking at this. So there might be more than one way of resolving this issue. It can be that you have a very set way of seeing it and your partner might see it totally differently. But you're going to have to look at the bigger picture if you want this relationship to progress. So nobody's suggesting here that everybody's this relationship's ending. 
um, or anything like that. That might be the case if that's what you desire. But this is about you moving your relationship forward uh, from challenges that you've been through. So, you know, look at the bigger picture here. There's more than one way of looking at this. The impact it's had on you is because you're looking at a certain way. But there might be other ways if you reflect and review things. If you look at the bigger picture, there could be that light bulb moment that comes forward and the clarity will come. Because you're going to have to weigh things up here to bring the balance back. And you're going to have to work together as a team, get back on that same page here so that you can create the stability that's needed to build the relationship up. Now, it could be that you've got a very solid relationship here or you have been up till now. It can be there's enough uh, went into the relationship. It's stable enough to stand this challenge. It can be that. But you're going to have to weigh things up and work together and get back on the same page so that your relationship can prosper and move on, most definitely. Okay, and you have got the skills to do that. You have got the skills to weigh this up. So this here is about you taking all these role in your life. It could be someday, it could be that you're being very dominant, dominant. I don't mean in a bossy way. I mean, you might be very, you know, you might feel as if you've got a case here that you've, you've got the right to be. You might be a bit stubborn about this. There could be stubbornness here between the two of you. But at the end, someday you're going to have to take a lead role in this and you're going to have to make some well-disciplined you know, decisions here. Um, we can't sort of hide away and be resentful forever. We're going to have to face this. We're going to have to weigh it up, deal with it, and get back in the driving seat so this relationship can continue. You know, this might be somebody who has, who's in control of a certain aspect of the relationship. For example, they might think they're doing well when it comes to the financial. I'm just giving you an example, financial side of the relationship here. So there could be differences with money, how you see money. There could be differences about where you want to live. Because this is new beginnings for stability. There's, you know, this is, this could be new contract. This could be windfalls and inheritances as well, by the way. This could be somebody, for example, okay, this, this could be somebody who's been offered promotion and there's new opportunities here and you might have to move home. You might have to move to a new town or, it could, you know, new contracts. It could be that somebody wants to buy I've went and bought a car or went and purchased something and you're not happy about it. You know, they could have got a loan of some sort or anything and you're not happy about that. It's that kind of energy where it's somebody that's done something here that doesn't sit well with you. But you will find a way forward. You will find a way forward. You will find a common ground. You will come together here. Yes, see? Because you're going to work and have patience and prosper. And what you're going to do is you're going to bring harmony back. You're going to settle down. You'll settle down to this. And this is this is patience. You might have to show a lot of patience. But through time, you will work yourself through this disappointment. You will. You'll work through these disappointments and upsets. And you will prosper. And through patience and time, you'll get back on an even keel. Yeah, there's disappointment and resentment here. Definitely. There's worry, you're anxious, you're, you're, not, you're angry about this, but you're determined to have your say, and that's fine. Stand up for yourself and have your say. You might want to make it clear about where the boundaries are lying. That's fine. You might have to stick up for yourself, and you, know, you might have to stand, defend your corner, if you like, but you will get this back on track. Okay? I hope this helps. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.